Mabuhay Maxima, this is MR, your host. And for today, we will be talking about how to spread kindness, positivity, and all that good vibes. And with me is a marketing professional for four years. He is really great at his field. He's been a top associate and he has a lot of notable rewards. And besides that, he's also a pranic healer. And an arhatic yogi, right? And he is the member of the Pranic Healing Foundation of the Philippines. He does lectures, seminars, and he's spreading kindness and positivity all around. And with me is Mr. Luigi Magliari. Hi, Luigi! How are you? Hello! Good morning! Thank you good very much morning. for having me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to have you here. Thank you for the kind words. I sana everything was really true. Oh, of course. I'm, <laughs> I'm just <sure>. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen your works, your profile, your your data on the internet. It's like, he is such a good person. Parang everything is towards helping others, creating exposure for others, reaching a helping hand. So, parang galing. And since, well, pandemic ngayon, are you still able to do those things given the situation? I, in my own little way, yes. Uh, although the pandemic is really, is really very challenging for everyone, right? Yeah. Um, we do have tools and techniques now, especially the internet. No, very, very, very helpful. So we can we can definitely use that to our advantage when it comes to spreading positivity or with work. A lot of people are pivoting now, also, right? So, but me personally, <laughs> I haven't left the house since March. Same. <laughs> yeah, since March, since the lockdown happened, I never <laughs> left the house. Actually, I just. Uh, siguro I I just go into the go in the car para lang ipainit siya just go around the village but I never went uh, out of the village as in not once not well when the pandemic started the first few weeks I had to get alcohol outside but that yeah. was the that was the first and only time I went outside wow. really literally outside yeah but most of the time, I'm just inside the village. Grabe. Mas lang ako sa Big Brother house, man. Oh, kasi currently, we have a senior in the house and also we have a baby. So, parang... And luckily, we have naman a helper that we can have... We can... That helps us with the grocery. So, no need to really go outside. So, parang re- responsibility also of parang getting people af- infected, di ba, of the the virus. But ikaw, how, how, how's everything? Well, how are you? Inside the house, mainly same reason as you because we have two senior citizens and we have a sibling who is a person with a disability. So, ang hirap eh, beske. You know, yeah. for the sake of the family, I'd rather stay indoors. It's scary, right? Oh, plus, there's a lot of options naman lang, let's say, when you're craving food, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just Thank God for grabs, panda, <laughs> and all that jazz. <laughs> yeah. And also for me, for, for work, luckily, uh, in, with Ayala, they were able to pivot right away. Start of the pandemic, we were very sensitive to, mm-hmm. to the situation. So stop selling. But right after that, they were already pivoted uh, and did online. Oh, All my okay. clients, I didn't really have to meet them in person. So Hi. we just had to, to do Zoom meeting, show the numbers, show the presentation. Yeah. Nice. That's great. And... Given since it's pandemic and you're in real estate, did the demand for real estate change because of it? Uh, well, I think it did in a way. Uh, there are some misconceptions about the the industry now. Um, it's a buyer's mar- market. There's so meaning there's a lot of options now if you're into investing. Mm-hmm. Um, also, in terms of waiting. I mean, I think a lot of people are not so much informed yet about the opportunities being offered in real estate. Uh, I think most people are, are waiting for secondary market, meaning they're ready for occupancy that would be uh, sold at a very low price. Yeah, yeah. But if you really, I mean, people who are, um, what do you call this, uh, motivated, motivated sellers. So... People are waiting for motivated sellers. But if you really go online and really look for those properties, I don't think it would be easy Mm-mm. to look for them. And also, during this pandemic, it really o- offered a lot of opportunities now because 
like for example for for our company properties are not cheaper right right because of the pandemic okay. because history tells us that this is not the first time it that this time this happened right a crisis mm-hmm. uh 2000 2008 we experienced the global financial crisis uh which experts were saying that it's going to be difficult for for us to be, to, to recover but with ayala during that time in 2008 we also launched serendra i'm sure you you you're familiar with serendra right yeah, we launched that during that. the crisis mm-hmm. and people were saying oh you're launching a new project at 100,000 pesos per square meter that's ridiculous that's too high especially this time mm-hmm. and people who invested during that time with what 12 years ago mm-hmm. is very happy how much is serendra yeah. now Yeah, right? the rent right now is 300,000 per square. So that's times three of the price 12 years ago. And oh. also during 2000, uh, sorry, 1998, hmm. we had the Asian financial crisis. Right? So with currently uh, this pandemic also offered uh, opportunities for those who are ready. Um so there. So this is not the first time so It's understandable that people are scared, but for me personally, how I approach it, I don't really hard sell. Mm-hmm. Um, I just try to to inform people that hey, there's an opportunity. Uh, if you're in the market for investing, I'll be more than happy to show you the numbers. Uh, if it makes sense for you, then I'll be more than happy to be your partner in this investment that you're trying to look into. Even that speed, it sounds so happy and positive. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't. I, I didn't start that. Uh, start out that way when I started in real estate. Maybe I can just give you a background. Okay. How I, how I started in real estate. Because, uh, but are you familiar with DNA? But no. I've seen it in your profile. Na parang it's an organization. Full of people of different uh, what they call Industry. it, industries. As in, so plang halo halo. Mm-hmm. It's uh, basically it's a referral organization, huh? meaning you can be a part of it by applying. Mm-hmm. Um, tapos basically we meet every week to help each other grow our businesses through referrals. So if you need referrals for your business, then this might be an avenue for you. Nice. Right. So basically, it's you don't get anything in return. Mm-hmm. The philosophy of BNI is givers gain. So if you want to receive more business, then what you can do is help the fellow members receive more more business also. So basically, the product that you that you offer is your network, the people okay. that you know. Okay. Right. So, uh, only one person can represent a a, a specific industry. So, for example, since I'm a member of BNI All Stars in in Taguig, mm-hmm. I already represent the pre-selling properties for 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 the chapter. Uh-oh. So, when with the 40 plus members that we have, whenever their network is looking for pre-selling properties, I am their go-to. They are committed to help me grow my business. They would just give me that referral. Then during our meeting uh, every Tuesday, which if you want, I can also invite you if you want to attend. Um, oh, okay. mm, uh, <laughs> Ayun, uh, only one person can. Uh, every Tuesday we meet each other. Tapos you can give your ask. Meaning, for example, for me, I have let's say we want to focus on a project. Mm-mm. During the meeting, I will tell everyone in in the meeting that. Hi guys, uh, I'm looking for a doctor looking to invest in Makati uh, this week. Mm-mm. So everyone in the network would look for doctors and try to connect me to to their network, and vice versa. Uh-oh. So we have we have lawyers, we have doc. We don't longer have doctors. We have lawyers, accountants, people from banks, from advertising, from printing. So from uh. uh graphic design, web design, creative ad agency, photographer, catering, life insurance, brokerage. Uh, my wife represents pranic healing. Kasi ako, I represent Alveo. My wife represents pranic healing in the chapter to do business healing, generational healing. For, from for pranic healing, we have solar panels. People, It's a, it's a referral organization kasi na 
it really helped me a lot also in terms of business. Ah, na if you're looking for referrals, this might be a good uh, avenue also for 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 people who for mm-hmm. for listening. How na, do you be a member of BNI? You can apply, because only one person can represent uh, an industry. So we want to make sure that we have uh, the best of the best. Mm-hmm. So because basically you will be receiving the referrals from the network. I mean, you'll be receiving the network. Of the members, Mm-mm. so we have members nga na lawyers, very established people already. So it's an application process. But I can invite you if you want. You can attend a meeting. It's every Tuesday, six forty-five a.m. Uh, so that you can see for yourself first if it's something na or the the, the visitors. I mean the the listeners. If Mm-mm. if you want to listen to a, a referral organization meeting then I'll be more than happy to invite everyone. It's free as of now uh, since we're doing it via Zoom. Uh-huh. Uh, we pivoted as early as March. Nice. Uh, but we normally meet in, in person uh, in Marquee, Marquee Events Place in BGC, Kidzania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we meet there in person. So may mga ano kami, may mga legs kami at saka may pantalon kami doon. <laughs> Kasi zoom, zoom yung ulo lang nakikita eh. <laughs> Oo. Oh, 'yun. So, 'yun, if you're looking for for referrals, it's a biggest, it's a it's the largest uh, referral organization in the world. Nice. Okay, so uh, you mentioned earlier that I have a marketing background. That's mm-hmm. true. Uh, my previous jobs were I used to work for a call center. Then, because during that time my wife was uh, studying abroad, so we didn't have WhatsApp yet. We don't have Viber. <laughs> it was only email. So, because I wanted to 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 spend time with her, I worked graveyard so that our time difference won't be so so drastic. Wow. Right? Then when she came back home. Uh, I I transferred to Smart Communications. Uh, then after that, I transferred to Canon Marketing Philippines. Then we decided to get married, and I decided to quit or well yeah quit quit working from the corporate. Uh, and also during that time, I was I was introduced to pranic healing. Pranic, you mentioned yes. I'm an, I, I, I am an arhatic. A uh, yogi practitioner. So basically, that's a higher course that we already, uh, I already took in pranic healing. Basically, pranic healing is a school of energy, and I was introduced to that because of my my wife also. So just to, to cut the long story short, I took uh, the courses in pranic healing. Uh, there are courses for health, uh, spiritual courses, for relationship courses, and also financial courses. So. In between uh, my real estate career and Canon Marketing Philippines, I took those financial courses from from Pranic Healing. Then I decided, wait, wait, it doesn't make sense. Uh, I know all the tools and techniques that were taught to me in Pranic Healing, and I don't have an avenue for it. Okay. So that was the time I decided to uh, quit the corporate job and look for um, opportunities wherein I can practice again the, the energy healing or the, the Kriya Shakti course that I took in Pranic Healing. Mm-hmm. Uh, that won't be best job. And also potentially spreading more positivity and sharing the, the things that I learned in, in Pranic Healing. Nice. So that's the reason why um, my mindset changed, my demeanor changed, my attitude changed, I think. Hopefully for the better. <laughs> yeah, hopefully for the better. So there's a saying there in, in, in Pranic Healing. The, the teacher told us that. Because he's very good. He's very good. Uh, people were saying that he should be a saint. So he was, he was just saying, no, I'm just a good person trying to be better. So I'm trying to duplicate that. I hope I'm a good person. And I'm in, still the process and still in the journey of becoming better. Wow. Nice. I can feel all of the positive energy. Really, it's really, really, really good. I think you're on the right track. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, 
peop, a lot of people are very familiar with positivity, right? There's oh, a lot yeah. of people talking about positivity. You see it online. Uh, maybe I what I can I can share with you uh, how pranic healing this how pranic healing really helped me. If you if you if you want to know more about it, yes, please go ahead. <laughs> All right, so I was introduced to pranic healing because of my wife. That was I think six years ago. So uh, we usually go out uh, out of town. We love going to the beach. So my I saw my wife. Uh, meditating. So during that time, it was not really a common word for us to hear people meditating five or six years ago. Mm-hmm. So I grew up very conservative. Uh, I grew up in a Catholic school and I, during that time, I, I don't hear people talking about meditation. So it was really not, I was not really familiar uh, with meditation. Yeah, yeah. So when I saw her meditating in front of the beach, Uh, after he, she meditated, I asked her, what are you doing? That's not prayer. That was not taught in school. That was not taught in, the, in, in our church. What are you doing? What's meditation? So she explained to me. So during that time when I saw her meditating, uh, I was thinking to myself, this might be our first fight. Because <laughs> okay. we've been together for 14 years. So six uh-huh. years ago, we, we've been together for eight that time. 14 years, six so, years ago would have been your first fight? Wow. Yeah. I was thinking but but I was reflecting do I want to start a fight where in fact we don't we don't fight. <laughs> so instead of fighting I just asked her what are you doing? So ex- she explained pranic healing to me. Uh, understanding energy and I got curious and she invited me to Tortigas mm. where where the the foundation is the pranic healing foundation of the Philippines is. Then I took the course For, for the basic pranic healing course. And I really fell in love with the concept, the idea of, of understanding energy. Mm-mm. So there, after taking those courses, uh, again, I loved every, every bit of it. It made me realize, and it's not a religion. Okay. Uh, basically, it's, it's understanding energy. Because I'm sure in, in school, we were taught about uh, the science, right? The, the physical science. Of energy, right? The yeah. physical science of Of, of energy meaning also the, the physical science is a sense that we know where our heart is the, the, the bio anatomy and yeah. biology right so that science uh, we know where the physical heart is the liver the stomach the eyes the, the brain so in, in terms of pranic healing we also have the energy body okay. or it's I think people are more familiar with aura yeah yeah I was about to ask, is that the same as aura, chakra, yes. chi? Yes, exactly. That's good that you're familiar with, with chakras and chi. All right. So chakras are the organs of your energy body. And like our physical body, the physical heart, the eyes, the mouth, the brain, the stomach, the liver, it has functions and um, uh, yeah, it has functions, right? Yeah, the, yeah. the heart pumps blood, things like that. So we also have chakras that have function. So in pranic healing, we study those chakras so that it can help you manage your life better. Okay. All right? Because whatever happens to the energy body, okay. it will reflect on your physical. Okay. So if, for, for example, you're experiencing, let's say, headache. Okay. It okay. happened first in your energy body. Okay. All right? So for our physical body, we know how to take care of our physical body, Mm-mm. right? When your physical body gets dirty, mm-hmm. you just clean it, yeah. right? Or if you want to strengthen your physical body, you also know how to do it. Mm-mm. Exercise. Right? You can exercise. You can go to, uh, you can get a liposuction or something. <laughs> But with the energy body, it's different. Because the energy body, we're dealing with energy. So how do you clean energy? Mm-mm. Right? Wow. So for example, for me, stress is energy. Right? Stress is energy. That's a, one of the most common terms, right? A common, common word now. Stress, depression. <laughs> uh, so if you're energetically, energetically stressed, it will reflect physically. Mm-mm. Or if you're mentally exhausted, let's say, for example, the whole day, you're online, you're just working, you're not physically really doing anything. 
but at the end of the day you feel you feel physically tired. Oo. Diba? That yeah, happens. There are days. Yeah, you're not there are days, right? that day parang... <sighs> Or you're just in front of the computer. Diba? You're not physically working. I mean, you're just typing, just your fingers working. But at the end of the day, you feel so tired. Because mentally, you're working. Uh-oh. The mental body, which is part of the energy body also. Uh-oh. So, yun. Since your energy body is working, physically, you feel tired also. Okay. Alright, so how do you, in pranic healing, we are taught how to remove unwanted energies or negative energies from our aura or our energy body. Okay. So using our hands. Hands. Yeah, using our hands. We remove the dirty energy. So how does it work? Or just to give you how I understood it, huh? yeah, how yeah. I understood it. Uh How dif- because in, 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 in school, we were, again, we were taught physical science, right? Mm-hmm. So one example would be uh, opposites attract. Okay. That's physical science, right? North okay. Pole will attract South Pole. Mm-mm. Correct? Are you familiar with the secret? With the? The secret. Secret? The secret. Oh. Have, you heard, uh, have you read the book? Ah, the, the secret. Part, the secret. I have seen. Yeah. I haven't read yet. But uh, are you familiar with the term law of attraction? Yes, I am. I am. Law of attraction. Yes. So law of attraction means positive, like attracts like, right? Yes. Positive would attract positive. Negative would attract negative. Mm-hmm. Correct? Yes. All right. So if you put two and two together, physical science is opposites attract. Yeah. Law of attraction is like, like attracts like. Does it make sense? Now that you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Oh, no. It's contradicting. Yeah, yeah. Because opposites attract is about physical science. Mm-mm. That's what we learned in school. Mm-mm. Energy science is different. Okay. Because in law of sci- uh, law, I mean in, in energy science, it's like attracts like. Okay. If you're a positive person, you're supposed to attract positive. If Mm-mm. you're a negative person, you will attract negative. Mm-mm. All right? So our energy body or our aura, it's like a magnet for like attracts like. Okay. So if you have positive energy in your aura, law of attraction says that it, you will attract positivity. Okay. If you have negative energy on your, in your, on your aura, Okay. you will attract negative energy. Okay. okay? So, what do you do now to remove those unwanted energies? What do you do? Yeah. That is the important thing, right? Because mm-hmm. once you understand the, the law of attraction, you want to get rid of the, the negative energy so that you can only attract positivity. Yeah, yeah. So in pranic healing, we, we studied it. We understood it. Now, uh, You can learn techniques, specific techniques that everybody can learn, very scientific approach to it, wherein uh, in seven, seven simple steps, you can just use your hands and remove that unwanted energy. Wow. Yeah. So again, once you remove now the unwanted energy or negative energy from your aura, uh-uh. apply law of attraction, what, were, what are you supposed to attract? Positivity. <laughs> There. <laughs> it sounds simple, right? Yeah, it does. Really does. Yeah. <laughs> And did you know that pranic healing started here in the Philippines? Here? Yeah, in Cebu. Oh, this is like the main branch. This is the mother branch. <laughs> True. <laughs> the head office, the headquarters. Yeah, it's a Filipino... Uh, sorry, Chinese Cebuano. Oh, I see. Yeah, his, his name is Master Choa Koksui. So we call oh. our teachers master. Okay. Same thing with let's say for 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 Feng Shui. Eh, sorry for yeah Feng Shui Feng Shui Feng Shui. They call it ma- They call them masters also, right? Also for mm-hmm. karate, they call it sensei, teacher. So basically, they're they are our teacher. Okay. That's that's the reason why we call them master because they are the master of energy. So Master Choa started it more than 20 years ago, and currently there are seven Filipino masters also uh, scattered all over the the world to spread also positivity and. Uh, to, to spread the teachings of pranic healing. Very interesting. So, yeah. 
like if you are enrolled in the school of pan- of energy i mm-hmm. imagine it as a normal classroom and there's a whiteboard and then they will teach about energy is that it or is it a different school concept it's it's the same thing basically it's like it's a school concept wherein uh, there's a blackboard but mainly it's about uh, practical approaches also where in okay. uh, There would be times where in you need to practice, meaning they will really show you how it's going to be done. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, there's a, a basin with salt and water, wherein you can uh, use uh, those to to dispose the, the 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 unwanted or dirty energy. So it's very practical. I mean, there's really uh, what they call this. Um, it's not the the whole day. You're not sitting down. Okay. Oh, You'll be really applying what you learned. Actually, it's two days for the basic course. As early as as the first day or the first before the before lunch time, you can already uh, or within the first day, uh, you can already start healing headaches, stomach pain, oh, dysmenorrhea for for, and also on the second day, uh, you will learn how to do distant healing. Distant healing. Distant healing meaning since you're dealing with the energy body, you don't really have to physically see the the person that you're healing. So, for example, I, for me personally, I know how to do pranic healing already. And okay. let's say someone wants to get healed, let's say in Dubai or in the US. Okay. Since I'm not do, dealing with the physical energy, I can do it distantly. I can be here in Manila where I live in the in in my house, and I can do a dis- distant healing for someone abroad. Okay. <laughs> and we oh. use you're you're familiar with chi, right? Yeah. You mentioned earlier chi. Basically, that's what we that's what we we use. Your, your chi in the in Jap in Chinese they call it chi. In Japanese they call it ki. Mm-mm. In Filipino we call it lakas likas. <laughs> that's right. Lakas likas. Yeah. In lakas in likas. likas. So it's the same thing. In in Star Wars, we call it the Force. Oh yes, the Force. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to experiment something? Yeah, sure. You want, you want to try to feel your your chi, your energy. Yeah, so basically, sure. What I'm sharing with you, what I learned in pranic healing, I applied it in my work. Mm-hmm. I applied using. Uh, I'll make you try. Let's try to feel your energy. Okay. This is interesting. Are you open to that? I yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll try it. Okay. So first thing that we need to do, we need to sensitize your hand. Try. We'll try. I will try to to make you feel your energy, not my okay. energy or okay. anyone else's. Let's try to make to make you feel your energy. So first thing you need to do is slightly um, press the middle okay. of your palm, both palms. Okay. All right, and also the tips of your fingers. Like, do I have to press really hand. hard or just? No, no, no. Just slightly or gently, just press them. Okay. Then rub your hand. Okay. So put them together, a few inches, or maybe one inch in between, uh-huh. focusing on the middle part of your of your palm. Okay. Okay. So close your eyes. Do not expect anything. Okay. Okay. So just do your normal breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. So just breathe normally. All right. Then slowly pull them apart. Then bring them back together. Do it again. And then what you can do, you can also try to rotate them, rotate your hands like this, this. counterclockwise. Is there something? Oh, I know, but I was like, I, I was feeling the static energy. Ah. Uh-huh. You know, like 
yung positive negative ions in when it's getting close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, but you felt something. Yeah, yeah. Was it warm for tingling okay. sensation? Yeah, I definitely felt felt something. Ayan, so basically, that's your energy. Ay, ano ba yun? <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's your energy. But it, um, isn't that like in physical science, like if you rub two things together, then there's friction and yung like if it's hair yung gumaga non. In a way, yeah, it can be. Uh uh-uh. uh Yeah, but definitely, it's 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 for some people because we don't. Uh, we're not sensitive to energy, so that's one way to to feel it also. But definitely, it's it's really interconnected. The physical science and the the energy science. So now you didn't really what we did earlier. That's the reason why we rubbed our hands to sensitize it, sensitize that so that you can easily feel the tingling sensation. Uh-uh. All right. So there are also ways for you to see energy, if you want. See? Although that will you can see yeah you can see energy. You can see the aura of a person. Yeah, there's ethics to it also. Not that not opening the third eye, huh? Ay, yeah, yeah, I was like, not opening the third eye, I, but I you can see you it. <laughs> no, no, no. That's that's one of the most the the misconceptions also of people. When you start seeing energy, it's supposed to be again what we're talking about is like attracts like, right? Uh-huh. So there are also people wherein they were able to open their clairvoyance, their third eye. But since they're so positive and they're so aligned, and what they see are angels. Oh, I want to see angels. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> oh. Yeah. So there are people who really can see energy. So it's very, very. It's a it's a blessing, and it's also a responsibility when you get to see. Because, because for example, you see dirty energy on the energy body of the person. Or the chakra, diba? Kasi you see energy. Eh. So some some people, what they do, since they already see the dirty energy, they remove it. It's so easy for them. So like, for example, if I know pranic healing and I get see and I see someone walking by, dirty, dirty. Is that <laughs> well, there's ethics to it also. Okay. Right. Uh, because. It's like physically trespassing also, Mm-mm. but not everyone can see. Let's say, for example, I've been in, I've been in pranic healing for more than five years, and I still don't see. Oh, I but see. You don't have to. Okay, it doesn't you mean that you can to. see that I'm already at this level of pranic healing that I'm really really good. Uh, as early as basic, you can be very good because whatever we learn from the higher courses. The, the basic course is the foundation to it, right? So it doesn't matter, let's say, I, if five years of pra- practicing pranic healing, if you decide, let's say, to take the course, it doesn't mean that I'm better than you. I just know um, more, um, I'm more, I'm longer in the, in the, the practice, but definitely mm-hmm. doesn't mean that I am better than you mm-hmm. because you might be able to perform more miraculous healing or you are more of a healing presence to people you're more positive so it's it's not necessary but definitely what i know you can uh-huh. also apply uh-huh. because we are because it's science right yes, yes. it's the same experiment same in in baking it's same recipe that we are using uh-huh. whatever i know you know also the seven techniques the seven steps that i'm using you'll be also using uh-huh. same thing it's science. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> so there, um, I I used because I wanted to spread positivity also because during that time when I learned pranic healing, my life was good, mm-hmm. meaning I was not feeling any ailments. I was not really feeling stressed. I mean, I feel stress, but during that time, how I handled stress was I would drink or I would smoke. Mm-hmm. That was uh, that was my outlet mm-hmm. for for those energies. Mm-hmm. Only to find out that I was not really uh, getting rid of the stress, because if, for example, if you're mentally stressed or emotionally stressed, uh-huh. how can something physical heal something mental and something energetic? Right, right, right. right. Yeah. So you know, it made sense for me, na. Na I was if I was feeling mentally stressed, then I should address the energy, Mm-mm. not really drink 
and smoke wherein financially it will also deplete my money, diba? And the oh, next day, may hangover ka pa. But oh. your, your, your stress is still there. Uh-huh. Diba? So I learned now when I feel stressed, kasi you're not naman, it's not a, it's not a silver bullet, diba? Pranic healing. You're still, uh, you still get sick. You still feel stress. But now, you know techniques. I know practical, instead of, let's say, popping the pill, Uh, I know techniques now. Or I can ask my wife, can you do healing on me? Or I can ask the my friends in pranic healing to also do healing for me. But if you learn, if you know how to do self-healing, uh, because in pranic healing, you also learn how to do self-healing. Mm-hmm. So there, I can just do healing on myself. Whenever I feel, let's say, stressed at work, then I just do self-healing. Oh my God, that's so interesting. Wow. There. <laughs> um, Actually, you know what? What what I can do? I can connect it also to my wife. If you're if you want to know more about <laughs> about pranic sure. healing, yeah, okay. sige. Yeah. Yeah. Then there. So I took pranic healing. Then I really wanted to spread positivity. So um, I was thinking, what is the best way for me to to show that it really works? Because if, for example, for me, I was not sick. But the best testimony for for pranic healing to work would be, let's say. There are a lot of there are a lot of testimonies, but for me personally, I was not ill. Let's say, for example, I didn't really have. Let's say I couldn't stand. Mm-hmm. Then pranic healing was able to help me stand, de ba? Parang mm-hmm. something like that. So I was thinking of practical ways to apply what I learned. Uh, that's the reason why I mentioned earlier, right? I I I went into real estate because I wanted an avenue to apply not the the courses in in pranic healing for health. But I wanted to apply the financial courses that I learned in pranic healing mm. in real estate. Mm-mm. So I wanted to experiment on myself, uh, applied what I learned, and see, because I didn't really have any sales experience okay. when I started in real estate. Uh, so what I did was, or what made me unique was that I just knew how to attract prosperity energy. Uh-huh. So again, the positive positivity uh, attracting law of attraction. Uh-huh. So you need to have prosperity energy in your aura to attract what? Prosperity. Prosperity. Uh-huh. Right? Because money is just a physicalized physicalized uh, energy of prosperity. Uh-huh. But you won't be able to get the physical money if you uh-huh. don't have that energetically. Diba? Kasi whatever happens to the energy body would physicalize. Diba? So once you have prosperity energy, remove also the unwanted energies from your body, then you can attract prosperity. That was my only, you know, my edge. Uh-uh. That I'm more than happy to help, to share with everyone. That's the reason why I agreed to, the, to our meeting. Diba? Kasi I wanted to share. This is not a secret. A lot of people already know about law of attraction, but how to practically use it. Uh-uh. You might want to study it also oh, so okay. that you can really understand it and help yourself so that you can also help others diba kasi you won't be able to give what you don't have yeah 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 right so in terms of all aspects in life not only financially Mm-mm. but the most practical because we need it, it's not money is not the most important thing but I agree, it, yeah. it's as important as air right yes yes <laughs> we need we need it to live diba but Uh, how we we use money really would dictate if it, it's going to be for the good or the bad. Diba? If money controls you. Diba? But if you use money and your intention is to really help people and really uplift the life of your family and to be able to tie it, to be able to... Let's say, for example, we just had a typhoon diba? In, in Bicol. Mm-mm. How can you donate if you don't have... I mean, if you're if you're thinking about the the meals that you need to provide for your family, diba? if you have extra, you can mm-hmm. definitely help more people also. Mm-hmm. So the challenges that I have uh, with in terms of my industry, because like what I said, diba? it's not a silver bullet. Sometimes yeah. you get you get distracted with all the the noise at work, diba? the yeah. pressure, the numbers. I just have to remind myself now. Wait. I'm not doing this uh, for the numbers, meaning to to get filthy rich or something like that. That would be a blessing, but 
I need to remind myself that hey, I I went into real estate because I want to spread positivity and share to people that there are techniques wherein you can work hard and you can work smart at the same time with the help of energy. Dang. Diba? Kasi a lot of people, let's say for example, if you if you want to attain a goal, if you want to reach 1 million, okay. what, is the, what would be the common answers of people? I need to wake up very early. I need to work harder. Uh, I need the help of a lot of people, get referrals, uh, learn more. That's all true. You should apply that. Yeah. But if you have another tool, knowing about energy, wherein you're working hard physically, And you also have the energy world helping you, the, the healing angels and the prosperity angels helping you. Then it's like going up an escalator that is going up. Uh, right? Have you tried going, going up the elevator, uh, going up an elevator with, where in the, uh, sorry, the escalator, where in the escalator is going down? It's such a struggle, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it, you're, there's a lot of physical work that you need to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. True. But once you accompany it with energy, it's like going up an escalator and you're also walking up uh, upstairs. Oh, yeah. So, diba, para mas yung oh. so that's the benefit of also understanding energy. There's a lot of people with, with, who works hard. And for me, working smart is knowing energy. Uh-oh. Nice. To supplement it. It's... Oh, cool. So it's so, so, so <laughs> cool. Oh, I have so many questions. Like, so pranic healing is a school of energy. Mm-hmm. How different is it from, say, New Age, Tarot, the colors mm-hmm. of the chakra? What makes it different? Well, to be, to be completely honest with you, I didn't really research about Tarot, about, about the New Age. What I know is pranic healing, our main objective is to alleviate the pains and suffering of people. Okay. That's the reason why basic course, you, you, are first, you first learn how to, uh, to heal people. Mm-mm. To heal people, then you can do self-healing. Because we really, when you study pranic healing, it's deeply rooted to character building. Oh, nice. Character building. So that's really the main goal of, uh, of pranic healing, is to make people better in terms of being more positive as a person in in totality uh-huh. right um you reap what you sow diba sinasabi na yeah. you reap what you sow so what i learned in pranic healing is um you can create your own destiny okay. right so everything yeah. is everything is energy so basically To be honest, I'm not super duper familiar with, with tarot. I mean, I know what tarot is, but I don't know what their objective is or what their mission is. I can only speak for pranic healing. The mission of pranic healing is to there uh, alleviate the pains and sufferings of, of humanity. And also the ultimate goal really is to bring heaven on earth. It sounds, it sounds parang a big goal, right? Yeah. But if you really think about it, Heaven can be, it's not a destination. I mean, yeah, heaven it's can a be, state. It's a feeling, the best yeah, state. Yeah, it is. Um, this can be our heaven, right? Being positive. Talking to you can be my heaven because mm-hmm. I feel also your positivity and your, 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 uh, your influence and how genuine you are. I can really, I can feel it also, right? So this can be a heaven. Mm-hmm. So, not being affected of the things that we cannot control and being positive and uh, with the things that we can control, how do we use that to help ourselves and not really add on to, to the negative energy that is everywhere, right? Yeah, yeah. So being a healing presence, let's say, for example, uh, at work, there are times wherein, uh, I don't know if you experience this, wherein... You hear someone walking inside your, your office and you already feel uneasy. Parang, ito na siya. Andito na si boss. Parang, <laughs> diba? Parang ganun na parang you don't really... Or there are times also wherein you don't know a person. 
Well, let's say you're in a in a public place. Mm-mm. You don't know who's beside you, but you feel uneasy. Diba? You, yeah. You're not touching, but you don't feel uneasy. You mean you feel uneasy Mm-mm. because there are times where in your energy and his energy or her energy is not vibing. Diba? Like attracts like eh. So it Uh-oh. may be your your energy is positive, and the person beside you might have. Negative energy, so that's the reason why you're not attracting, nagre repel, because like attracts like energy, yeah, yeah. Diba? So ganun yun ang yare. So there, that's the reason why sometimes sa parang you feel, or there are times naman din, the positive side naman na this is the first time you 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 met, but you feel that parang you know each other for for years oh, and years, yeah, diba? yeah, yeah. Kasi like attracts like. Oh. Ganun din sa. Mm, <laughs> Yeah, understanding it lang. It's, parang, I feel like panic healing is something that, put it on paper, that's what everyone's aware of. Like, I'm already aware of this and that, but you don't realize that there's actually a science to it. <laughs> am, I making, am I making a sense? Yeah, true. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know what? One example would be, uh, when I was taking, when, when I was understand, I mean, when I was learning, I mean, I mean when I was still in, in basic course, Uh, yung mga yung mga ano natin yung mga if you're in a place wherein you're not so familiar with it yung wag kang magturo-turo uh-oh do may saying na ganun uh-oh meron nga kasi, kasi nga, may uh-oh. may something diba uh-oh, oh you something. found out na the reason behind it pala the, the energy reason behind it is uh, we emit energy so uh-huh. when you point you're emitting your energy to to a person or a, an, an object dun sa lugar na hindi ka familiar. Okay. So if you do that, you might positively or negatively affect that object in a place wherein you're not familiar with. I see. Oh, so one example also, sorry, I'm going to be, uh, this made really, this gave a lot of, I mean, it made a lot of sense kasi for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Knowing na, di ba, I, I studied in a Catholic school. Uh-huh. Halo. Uh-huh. You're familiar with chakras, right? Yeah. Okay. So, Halo, when I was in school, the school sa, ano, sa college and high school, Halo, uh, they were saying, not Halo na ganyan, ha? Halo, <laughs> Halo yung Halo ng mga, mga saints. Yes, angel. Diba? Okay. Parang, pag pinuturo sa amin ng teacher, You get the halo, or the halo is because this person is a good person, Mm-mm. right? Mm-mm. When I understand, when I studied pranic healing, there is a chakra called crown chakra. Crown chakra, lupa. Have you heard of the crown chakra? Ah, crown. crown, 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 crown chakra. No, yes, okay. no, I haven't. Okay, so diba, like what I mentioned earlier, uh, the, it has functions, diba, and uh, uses ang mga chakra. The crown chakra is responsible for love beyond families. Okay? Okay. So yun, what happened is the love of the saints is so big, is so uh-huh. huge, uh-huh. that it, it physicalized. Ang saya naman naman! Diba? Kasi when I was studying in school, okay, if, you, if mabait ka, may halo ka. Only to find out, everyone has a crown chakra. Uh-oh. Now, how do we develop that? How do we develop the love beyond our families? Diba? Uh-huh. Loving the unlovable Uh-oh. or the people that we don't know. Uh-oh. We know saints already did that. So uh-huh. how can we also, not naman, I mean, eventually, maganda, we can all be saints, try to be saints. Uh-uh. But just spreading positivity and being a healing presence now to people, that can already activate your crown chakra. Eventually, hopefully, it will physicalize also or grow bigger. Di ba? Parang physical natin. If you want bigger muscles, you need to work out. Di ba? You need to exercise. So in pranic healing, you are, we are given certain techniques and um, avenues to serve to become better people also. Develop, develop, um, develop you as a whole. Di ba? Not only me as a son, as a husband, As a employee, di ba kayo? That's, that's the reason why I I chose real estate to be my parang form of service to try to spread uh, positivity to people. Na hey, if you have financial uh, 
uh, challenges right now, you might want to try to learn pranic healing so that you know techniques to help yourself eventually take up take the course until find the the Kriya Shakti or financial courses so that uh, you can equip yourself, manage your life better. Because it happened to me. I mean, my life was good. I mean, financially I was good. Health wise, I was also I think good relationship. But it all became better. Nice. I'm happy you don't really have to go through a crisis in life to to try to encourage yourself to be more positive. That's the reason I'm very grateful for my wife. Because she really introduced me to pranic healing. I didn't expect for me to fall in love with it. And now I'm reaping some benefits from it. Right? And hopefully, because of what I'm sharing with you, hopefully uh, you learn something and you became kahit papano positive and that's that's my that what that that's that's what i'm passionate about maybe uh-uh. trying to be more positive and not really you wanting to take the course maybe if you're curious then that's good but at least uh, get ideas or you became you became more knowledgeable or parang hindi lang na sayang yung 1 hour mo parang uh-uh. ganun <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Also interesting and fascinating. And parang nagko-coincide yung concept of pranic healing to all the things that I already know. And then some of them make sense. Some of them I have a lot of questions. And I have one. When you say yes. the energy self, is that the same as your soul? Um, in a way, yes. Actually, you know what? Uh... I'm not a teacher. I'm not an expert. I'm a okay. student of pranic healing also. So my answers might be wrong. Okay. But okay. from my lim- limited knowledge, ah, uh-uh. it's the same. Wow. Did you know that? Yeah. May, did you know that your soul has an anatomy? No. <laughs> I don't even know what my you soul looks that- like. <laughs> diba? <Andale>. Oh. <laughs> you oh. learned that actually. There's a course in pranic healing. The ano. Uh, Soul realization. Soul realization. Soul realization. It's not. It's not about religion. Again, it's not about religion. It's the science mm-hmm. of it. Once you understand it, ako. Once I understood it, I became more religious. I appreciated the the rituals that we're doing as Catholics. Wow. The sign of the cross. I understood it more. Um, why Jesus Christ was holding his hand. I mean, his heart. Uh-uh. Tapos siya. Uh-huh. I understood it. Uh-huh. Um, bakit kul- kulay red ang Uh-oh. suot ni Jesus Christ? Or bakit maka-color blue si Mama Mary? Oo. Bakit nakalabas yung Divine Mercy? Di ba? May, may, may heart, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Bakit nakalabas yun? Bakit may halo? It all made sense to me after studying it. And again, it's not forced forced sa'yo. Di ba? Sinabi ng Uh-oh. teacher, oh, this is this is the fact. This is this is reality. No. Titanic healing, it is it is highly recommended that you experiment for yourself. Because this is a science, right? Mm-hmm. It's a science. So experiment for yourself. Try being positive or try being negative. See what happens. Uh-uh. Then you derive at your own conclusion. Uh-huh. This is the color. Because in, in pranic healing also, right? it's, 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 it's about healing. Uh-uh. You also learn about colors. Colors, okay. Colors, as in color blue, color green, color orange, color purple, may mga ganyan. So you, you use certain colors to heal people. So there are certain colors to disintegrate kidney stones or cancer tumors. There are colors that you can use to cement broken bones. We are not here naman to replace medical, I mean the, the medical profession or the doctors. We are here lang to complement them. To make, Mm-mm. kasi our body naman can heal itself eh, di ba? So by using energy also, using the energy around us, uh, it can speed up the healing process. So same thing with ako, with my work, I now know techniques now where to face when I'm talking to a client. What to say when I'm talking to a client. How to remove the uh, dirty energy from properties that they're going to buy. Oh. You hear that, right? Oh, for yeah, example, yeah. an empty lot, an empty empty lot Mm-mm. or a condominium, Mm-mm. an uh, second secondary second second hand house or car, diba? Na affect din kasi yan ng energy. So for example, yung yung lupa, Mm-mm. dating unfortunately baka dating cemetery. Uh-oh. Diba? So there's energy of death. Uh-oh. 
So pranic eating is about practicality. You won't buy the, the, the lot wherein you want and also, so let's say, let's say, the price that you really want, you won't buy it because it used to be a cemetery. What's mm-hmm. the, where's the practicality in that? Mm-hmm. Diba? If, so now, if you know pranic healing, you can just remove the energy of death or the unwanted energy of the cemetery energy from that place. Uh-oh. Then buy it after. Uh-oh. Diba? So you, you just remove. Same thing with our energy body. Mm-mm. Same thing with, with the, the properties that you buy, the things that you wear. The, the, the jewelry, the water that you drink, the, the, the food that we eat, the medicines that we also take. So those are the practical ways of uh, applying what you learned in pranic healing. So ako yun, I, 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 I use that for, for my work. So I, before they invest, I already do some techniques in pranic healing to, to cleanse the whole estate. Mm-mm. Then let's say for, for some of my clients who are also pranic healers who invested, Luigi, since you also know pranic feng shui, choose the best uh, best uh, unit Mm-mm. for for my potential investment. So it's a it's a plus also for me. And also for my client. Because I want to spread more positivity. So they they invested. Uh, I chose the best uh, energy, finance. I mean the, the prosperity energy that would really generate that, that would be generated for them. Then mm-hmm. that's also positive energy that I was able to help them with. Mm-hmm. Not I'm not after the commissions. Mm-mm. I'm after the needs and the the wants of the the clients. I mean the to get the 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 best deal for them. Um, I have a question about you mentioned like when you cleanse a unit or a lot. I've I was told before by a friend that's into well the new age and whatnot that whatever you take away, you must. Put something back. Yeah. Parang it's you cannot yeah. just take and take and take and take. You have to give something back. Is that the same for pranic healing? When you cleanse the entire unit, do you give something? Yes. Do it make sense? And it, it it it's not my energy. Okay. That I'm using. Okay. I'm just using the subtle energy around us. Mm-mm. All right. So yeah. So you you there's a technique in pranic healing wherein we call it, we call it energizing. Energy. So yeah, we cleanse, energize. Energizing, okay. Yeah, energize. It's a the best way to explain it maybe is comparing it to let's say your remote control. Okay. The TV. So for okay. example, uh, your remote control, the battery is already empty. Okay. Same thing with our energy body. If you're feeling mm-hmm. empty, what do you do? Remove those those unwanted energies. Same thing with your remote. Remove that that battery that is already empty. Throw it away. Mm-mm. Proper in pranic healing, we also have um, dispose um, where we we know techniques to properly dispose it so that you don't affect other other people or other uh, beings, right? uh-huh. So we we throw it properly, then we re-energize or we use the subtle energy around it, around us, to energize it again. So same thing with our remote, right? Remove it, then replace it with new ones. Mm-mm. So ganon din sa ganon din sa pranic healing. And there's another technique wherein para hindi siya mawala. Kasi pinalitan mo, di ba? Uh-uh. With, with the remote, di ba, you cover it. Oo. Uh-uh. In pranic healing, we also learn something like that. Oh. And also, there are certain techniques that wherein you can disconnect para you're, you're not af- connected na to the people that you, you, you heal. Parang there's detachment. Kasi it's not naman us who are the healers. Eh. We mm-hmm. are just the instrument of mm-hmm. healers. Uh, it just passes through us, di ba? And yun nga, it, it made me understand that where does those energy come from? Mm-hmm. The, the energy around us. From the you, you, the supreme universal God. We are not the healers. Uh-oh. We are just instruments. It's At the end of the day, it's still going to be God. Okay. Regardless of, of uh, who, who, sino yung God mo that uh-huh. you believe in. Di ba? It, it's, it's not limited na parang sabi ni God na, oh, you're Catholic, sige, I'll help you. Uh-oh. Or you're this specific religion, I, I won't help you. Hindi. It doesn't work that way. Uh-oh. So regardless of what religion you are in, this is the science of it. 
that everyone can use it as long as you use it properly and for the good of all. Parang ganyan. The intention is to really help uh, people. So yun, like what I said in pranic healing, there are techniques. You you can learn this step-by-step step techniques. Kahit na five years na ako, you will also learn the same technique. And what if we do it properly, if you do the techniques properly, we will all derive at the same conclusion. Let's say, for example, someone has fever. If I do healing, regardless if five years na experience ko, on that person, you do the same healing on that person as long as we follow the same protocols and uh, uh, step-by-step, yeah, step-by-step protocols, we will both derive at the same conclusion. Kasi you are not the healer, I am not the healer. Uh-oh. We are just instruments of the healing. Uh-oh. That's uh, the science behind it. You men- you keep on mentioning the term properly. Are there instances wherein the practice was made was not made properly and was there a consequence to it? Uh, yes, there is. That's the reason why... Because we're dealing with energy, right? We have uh, the responsibility on doing the right thing. That's the reason why pranic healing is deeply rooted in character building. Because there are certain chakras that we do not... We talked about energizing, right? Yeah. There are certain chakras uh, that is responsible, let's say, for the blood pressure mm-hmm. of someone. Mm-mm. So now that you know the technique of energizing you can do energizing on chakras that are not supposed to be energized. Okay. So if you're not, if you're not into, if you don't follow the car, if you don't follow character building, then you can, you can do that. You can, you can physically ha- cause harm, okay. but pranic healing was not created for, for causing harm. It was created to alleviate the pains and suffering of people. Okay. That's the reason why we need to study it. And we need to really practice character building. Mm-mm. So I'll give you one example of okay. what, we, what we study in character building. It's very simple. We all know this already. Mm-mm. One would be uh, honesty and non-lying. Okay. It's end. Huh? So we need to be honest and we should not lie. Okay. Hindi siya yung honesty or non-lying. Uh-uh. It has to be both. We need to be honest and we should not lie. Something like that. Uh-uh. And also, we need to practice uh, loving kindness and non-injury. Because sometimes, let's say, for example, loving, loving kindness. So you can be very loving, let's say, to your kids diba? or mm-hmm. your family wherein you greet, greet them good morning, you, 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 give them, uh, you tell them I love you. But in your mind, at work, let's say you have a, a, a co-employee wherein you don't really... Uh, like, Mm-mm. you would think bad things. Sana madapa to. Uh-oh. So you're both. Diba? You're loving, but you're injurious in thoughts. Uh-oh. So it has to be both. You need to be loving and non-injury. It can be physically, mentally, emotionally. So we all know that, but we need to be reminded that it has to be practiced for, for, for both. And so, yun, with, with in terms of, yeah, it can also do harm. That's the reason why we highly encourage and it's really deeply rooted into char- in character building. Okay. You <laughs> mentioned in the school, like for example, within the first day, you can already learn how to self-heal. Uh, mm-hmm. How can you be sure as a student mm-hmm. that you're already prepared for that kind? Because uh, from what I generally understand, not, knowledge is not enough. Mm-hmm. it's not enough that you just know. So how, how are you sure that you can actually do the healing already? Actually, one way, one way with pranic healing, there's another technique wherein, like what I said earlier, right? do not uh, believe what we say. Experiment mm-hmm. for yourself. Mm-hmm. In pranic healing, there's a technique wherein we learned scanning. Mm-hmm. Okay, so in scanning, you will see for yourself, validate for yourself if it's, if it's working or not. It's not. It's not going to be forced upon or forced uh, to you with the teacher or me or whoever. Na, oh, it's working. It's working. It's working. No, you can validate for yourself. You do the technique of scanning, wherein mm-hmm. I can't teach you now. But if you take take the course, you can definitely learn scanning. Uh-uh. So that you can scan for, let's say, dirty energy on your aura. Is it depleted? 
Kasi it has to be balanced, diba? Our, cha- our energy ba- body has to be balanced. Uh-huh. Our chakras needs needs to be balanced. So one way of scanning is that you can check if it's depleted, meaning kulang ng energy, or is it congested, sobra ng energy. So mm-hmm. you, it has to be parang uh, on the same level, pantay-pantay siya. Okay. So yun yung gagawin mo. So sa scan mo, oh, let's say, sabihin ko, uh, may an, uh, ang sakit ng ulo ko. Uh-oh. So how do you validate? Let's say you have you have someone to heal. Uh-oh. That person is saying that my my head really is painful. And let's say assuming you already know how to to do pranic healing. Uh-oh. How can you validate if that person is telling you the truth? Uh-oh. Or if the 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 congestion or depletion is coming from the chakras around this area? Uh-oh. You can now use the technique of scanning. Okay. Now to scan. Ah, okay. Let me check. Where is the where is the the congestion or where is the So you can scan. You can you can you can learn it. Mm-hmm. Um, another question, di ba? Um, sometimes when, like, for example, you're you're sick or you well, kanya rin may sipon, and you the more that you think about the sipon, it's parang mas lumalala siya, di ba? Parang yeah. parang sometimes ganon. So yeah. um, in terms of that, like for example. You the more that you think that you want to feel the chakra, will it uh, or the chakra your energy holds? Ah. will it come? Mas magmanifest ba siya sa you? Malaking hmm. contribution bang psychological factor? Yes, yes. Because like, l- 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 now that I mentioned about energizing, that's the same thing. You're energizing mm-hmm. that thought, de ba? So nga ako, what I did was. Uh, after understanding that concept, I think that was a philosophy of ano eh, of Lao Tzu. Mm-hmm. Yung, be careful of what you think, Uh-oh. they become your words. Uh-oh. Be careful of what you say, your words, they will become your actions. Uh-oh, yeah. Your actions will become your habit. Your mm-hmm. habit will become your character. Your character will become your destiny. Uh-oh. Diba? So with that, it, it really inspired me. Because it used to be I was so, I was so negative. But for example, the colds. If you keep thinking of the colds, Mm-mm. what will happen? That will be your words, right? Then that would be your action. Meaning, you uh-huh. can't chew, you drink something. Uh-huh. Then after you make an action, mo, it might be a habit. Diba? Uh-huh. Every time that you feel that there is a little bit of pain, it might be you know, you drink something. And uh-huh. that would be your destiny. Wherein your destiny becomes sakitin ako eh. I, uh, I'm always uh, sick. Diba? Sakitin ako eh. So parang, ganun din siya sa stress. Diba? If you always think about stress or always say the word stress, Uh-oh. then that can be your destiny. Uh-oh. So for me, what I did was, I turned it around. Mm-mm. Why use that powerful technique to something negative? Mm-mm. So I use that. So for me, sabi ko, ah, okay, I can create my own destiny. Mm-mm to become a better person or to become basically better better version of myself. Mm-mm. So with that, I stopped li- stop using the word L-A-Z-Y. Never nang lumalabas sa bibig ko yun. Oh, gusto ko yung in-spell out mo pa siya. Kasi I don't say it na nga eh. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't say it na. Kasi eh, lagi akong ganun dati. Mm-mm. Lagi akong ganun. Um, when, uh, when I'm supposed to work, I would say, later na. Yung Tagalog yung sasabihin ko. Mamaya ako nagagawin. Uh-uh. Magpa ako eh. Uh-uh. Lagi ko yung sinasabi. Or, uh, I don't wanna get get up from bed because I feel L-A-Z-Y. Uh-uh. So, if I keep saying that, uh-uh. that word, then that would be my destiny. Uh-uh. Diba? Because my actions would lead to that. Uh-uh. That becomes my habit. Every time that it's raining, I would say it na, okay, I just won't do anything. Mm-mm. Because I'm feeling that that word or I'm feeling that emotion, de ba? So I stop saying it, ah. so that I don't think of it, I don't say it. It doesn't become my my actions. It won't become my habit, so that it won't be my destiny. Mm-mm. Surprisingly, so surprisingly, never kung narinig to in my entire life when I was in high school and college, na, and also at work, my friends would say, "Si pag mo, <laughs> never." Uh-uh. And now, surprisingly, in our business organization in BNI, some of the experts or the people experts in their field are saying 
Luigi, the action guy. What? Me, when I reflect, really? Action guy? I was never accustomed to that, ano, to, <laughs> to that word. So maybe it was reflecting. That was what? Five years ago that I stopped saying that word? Uh-uh. Yeah, so it's really important what you say. It's really, really powerful. Right? But we can take that, you use that to our, uh, to our advantage. Do not be scared. Right? Once we know that, then you can create your own destiny. If you want to be a millionaire, then think of what millionaires would do. Uh, what would they say? What are their habits? And what are their characters? So that you can create your, also your own destiny. Surround yourself with people who, who are like-minded. Right? That's what you said, right? I heard some mga podcasts mo also that people are saying that. Right? Why? Because you can create your own destiny. Then those are the things that we need to improve on. The things that we need to energize. So the things that would 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 pull us down or pull us back. Why attach yourself with that? Diba? Remove that from your energy body so that physically you don't do it also. Mm-mm. So that yung paglipad mo in terms of all aspects of life, it's easier. Why? No one's holding you down. Uh-oh. Once you know the technique, kasi it will be easier. Because if it's if you don't know the techniques, you're you're just self uh, teaching yourself, or parang you're just uh, experimenting on yourself. Then it's going to be difficult. Why do that? People already experimented and really spent their life. Si Master Cho has spent more than 20 years studying, experimenting, pranic healing. Mm-mm. I'm not saying that this is the only uh, platform that you can you can study. There's a lot. Like your platform is very good, diba? spreading positivity. Thank you. Diba? Uh, yeah, well, you're welcome. And thank you also for having me. When, well, for me, yun, I, I didn't really um, try any other modality. Because for me, when I learned pranic healing, it's perfect. Parang I feel the difference. I know that I'm trying to become... It's still a journey that I'm trying to become a better person. But I think it's working. When I reflect, I can see that this is how I used to be. Diba? This is how I would react to things, diba? with all the negativity that we hear in the news, diba? it's easy to point fingers. Diba? Parang, ito, ito, ito one example <laughs> na parang how I reflected when I, when I changed. Kasi when, I, when, when in real estate, kasi you need to file your own taxes. Ah, I see. Diba? You need to file your... Kasi parang self-employed. Eh. You, you don't really... You're contractual with, with the company. Mm-mm. So you need to file your own taxes. So I was... Deliberating, I was thinking, do I file my taxes? Knowing, knowing the things that I know or the things that you see in the news, diba? or people, what, the, what you hear diba? from Uh-oh. other people. Na, parang you always hear the, the negative things. Uh-oh. Do I, do I parang just say na, ah, I won't pay na lang my taxes kasi ang daming, ano yan, daming, daming ko naririnig na not so nice that my money goes to wherever, diba? mm-hmm. wherever. Tapos I reflected, character building ulit. Uh-uh. Should I pay my taxes? Parang I was talking to my wife, talking to some of the pranic healers. Kayo, kayo, do you pay? It? So, it all, it all boiled down to, it is the right thing to do. Uh-uh. Your intention, parang tinakinakausap ako ng teacher, your intention is to, to help the, the people. Uh-uh. ba? Diba? Kung gamitin nila yan sa hindi maganda, then it's not your karma. Uh-oh. It's theirs. Uh-oh. Your intention was to help. It is the right thing to do. Mm-mm. That is your responsibility as a citizen. So you should. Diba? So ako para okay. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Kahit, kahit na masakit makita, makita ko 20% ang kinakalta sa'yo. Tas sometimes people are saying, I don't feel, I don't feel na, na napupunta sa tama. Parang ganyan. Pero at the end of the day, you're You're doing that because it's your responsibility and Uh-oh. it is it is the right thing to do. Uh-oh. At the end of the day, it's the right thing to do. Diba? Parang ganun. Yun yung sa akin. Parang that was my dilemma before. Diba? Uh-huh. It all boils down to something that I can control. I can't control where they plan to use the, the funds. I can only bless and pray that they would really use it for the right things. But what I can control is how I feel when I give it. Diba? Kasi if ganun yung energy mo na parang In the beginning pa lang, ayaw mo ibigay kasi negative na energy. When you give it to them, then <clears throat> like attracts. Like if Uh-oh. you're energizing, you're also energizing the negative energy when they receive it. Uh-oh. Whoever receives the, the ano, di ba? 
so the same thing. So it's, you're just causing more problems. Mm-hmm. But if your intention is to bless and also to to share that the 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 financial blessings that you have mm-hmm. wholeheartedly mm-hmm. and willingly, mm-hmm. then that positive energy when when let's say the government receives it, then that can be a healing presence. Mm-hmm. Diba? It might cause positive that it might cause positivity to disintegrate the energy. Uh, that was already there. Right? Uh-uh. So that's the things that you can control. Um, I was about to ask kanina na dapat na ano yun? Ano yung tatanungin ko? Na paano mo di differentiate yung pranic healing sa religion mo pero at some point of your 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 part of the conversation na, nasabi mo na na it helped you with your religion kaya I'm like Ah, I was about to ask that. Sina ko na yan. Come on. <laughs> Actually, alam mo, di ba I mentioned also there are spiritual kaya yung background ko huma ano na <laughs> <laughs> yung spiritual courses sa sa pranic healing also uh, there are things that really made me appreciate religion in general not only ka yung, uh, yung Catholic kasi there meron din kaming may mga courses din na if ever people who might want to 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 study no there are there are courses na Christianity revealed uh, Hinduism revealed Buddhism revealed. Parang, kasi, yun nga, what I mentioned earlier, once you understand where energy is coming from, uh, it came from, saan pa ba yung manggagaling? Sa su- Supreme Universal God, eh. Di ba? Hindi naman, yun chi and ki, uh-huh. those are, those are, those are all coming, came from, ano eh, came from God, regardless of the God that you believe in, eh. Uh-huh. I grew up as a Catholic But now I appreciate all religions, and now I appreciate talaga the the practices and the the things that we do sa 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 course. Muntik ko sabi sa course natin sa <laughs> sa natin sa religion natin. Actually, to be honest, I became more spiritual than 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 religious. I became more spiritual in, in because like of your relationship healing. with your Lord was stronger because of what you practiced. Yeah, I understood also the yung mga I mean, the, the things that I was reading before sa Bible, or, well, ayoko magsinungaling, hindi naman ako masyado nagbabasa ng Bible, sa so, mga, <laughs> mga, mga naririnig mo sa church. Uh-uh. Di ba? The, the things that you, that we, what, that we hear from the Bible, we don't have to take it literally. There I, are I, I that believe it's not hidden. supposed to. Parang, not. that's why you have and, theology, doctors of the church, and all that jazz. There is, I mean, yeah, hindi talaga, pero some people kasi, I mean, di ba, may mga iba na, well, for me lang, I just want to talk about myself. Na, ayun, before kasi parang I, take, I was taking it in a way literally, di ba, na you were created in the uh, image and likeness of God. So, kasi before I, sige, aaminin ko na, I became atheist din before oh, in college. Uh-oh. I became atheist, tapos I became agnostic. Mm-mm. Because there was, kasi nag-take ako philosophy <laughs> in, 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 in college. Uh, tapos, I was such a burden already to my friends whenever we drink. I would convince them na, ano, walang God. <laughs> Mga ganun. Tapos, um, yun, tapos I was introduced to, 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 to pranic healing. There is a way kasi to, to check also your connection with God in pranic healing. To check the spiritual cord. Uh-huh. To check kung gano siya ka, uh, kakapal. Parang ganyan. So, nung chinek ng friend ko, nung, in, nung sinama ko ng wife ko dun sa isang healing, chinek ng friend ko, nakita ko kung gano ka liit, gano ka nipis, or basta gano ka laki. Gano na lang. Gano ka laki. Uh-huh. I was affected. I was affected. Parang, what am I turning into? Uh-oh. What am I turning into? Parang, so, I started uh, going to mass again. Mm-mm. Pero parang it was uh, robotic or parang it was mechanical. Kasi parang for the sake lang. For the sake lang. Tapos when I understood pranic healing, I understood the the concept of heaven on earth. And uh-huh. I understood now how, why, bakit kailangan mo maging mabuting tao. Uh-huh. Hindi, hindi kasi siya punishment system uh-huh. in pranic healing na parang pag ginawa mo to, ganyan. At the end of the day, it's your karma whatever you reap you sow Uh-oh. the things that are happening to you is because of you the Uh-oh. good the bad so yun naiintindihan ko siya so, ah okay so kailangan those are the reasons why I need to do that so yun it made me ano, it made me appreciate life in general 
diba? not only becoming a Catholic, but yeah, like what I said earlier, it it's a challenge every day. I mean, because wanting to become a better person is it's not easy. Oh yeah. You just have to reflect, diba? Because I I used to be very reactive. Diba? When you face situations, you react na parang you either join the negativity or you become the healing presence. Mm-mm. So, yun. One of the biggest challenge for me was uh, talking to my to my family. Diba? Kasi nakita nila eh. They saw, they saw me when I was not naman the worst, but they saw yung, yung personality ko before eh. Yeah. Tapos ngayon, when, when we have family gatherings, my, my, my cousins, kasi before, everyday kami iinom pag magkakasama kami. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ngayon, bakit sa'yo, oh, Luigi, ba't di ka na umiinom? Oh. They make fun of me. They, they would make fun of me. Pero, it was okay, kasi talaga ako din naman, drastic, drastic yung improvement. Parang I tell them, I don't really need to drink. I can enjoy your company. Mm-mm. The reason why I used to drink with you guys is because I want to to have to enjoy and have fun. Uh-oh. Now I can just have my natural fun. I mean natural high Uh-oh. of just positive energy and I can still I can still be with you guys except that I'm not drinking. Uh-oh. Makikipagsabayan ako sa inyo sa kulitan, sa hiritan, pero without intoxicating myself anymore. Uh-oh. Diba? Parang iniisip ko kasi before I was reflecting, bakit ba ako umiinom? <laughs> Diba, ba't ba ako umiinom? Kasi umiinom ka kasi you want to be with your friends. Well, for me personally, I wanted to be with my friends. I want to, yung kulitan, yung asaran, yung mga things na hindi mo ginagawa na sober. Parang sabi ko, wait, I can still do the, all of those things without hurting people or without, ano, pero yung, yung, yung having fun lang, I would, I would do it. Parang kukulitin ko pa rin sila, asaran kami, without, cur- ako, hindi na, hindi na ako nag-curse, mga ganyan. Uh-huh. So I try try very conscious effort talaga of doing those things. I I I can really relate to that part because honestly I am deadly allergic to alcohol. Like of course there's once upon a time I was drinking until <laughs> one day I could not anymore. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah. so then I uh, put along some point the when I was no longer drinking, I thought I had to face the fact that I won't be able to go to the Friday nights, the Saturday uh, nights. Because I didn't have to Eventually, when the rare occasions, like on layovers, we're in as a flight together, you have to go out together. So I'm forced to yeah. be with that, even though I don't. Drink. <laughs> and then most of the time, they'll be surprised na, man, so glad ako hindi ko minom. Parang mas buwag atong lasing sa amin. <laughs> and then eventually, I realize ko, oh nga, you don't have to drink to have fun. Like, we yeah. already know that pwede na lang ako kasama. Na masaya pa rin ako kasama kahit di ako umiinom. Because I call it, I have this natural high. <laughs> yeah, di ba? Oh. Kasi ako yun din eh. I was thinking, ba't nga ba ako umiinom? Uh-uh. Kasi masaya kasi nagkukulitan. Wait, eh, kahit sober ako, makulit na ako at saka mahirap na <laughs> <laughs> Di ba? Parang ganun. So, yun. <laughs> like I, I remember that people say they want to drink us, they want to remove the inhibitions, yung pusa na mag mawala yung, yung problema, takot, pusa na magi makapal yung mukha nila, and I'm like makapal yung mukha ko. So. <laughs> <laughs> or ako before kasi parang I drink because parang may problem, de ba? Or parang stress, uh-huh. de ba? Pero at the end of the day, after you drink, the next morning natanggal ba talaga yung stress? Natanggal ba talaga yung problema? Oo. Para... Kasi, it, you, it, those are the energies you just, yeah, in pranic healing, you uproot it, re-remove, tatanggalin mo siya sa energy body mo using mm-hmm. the techniques that you learn. So eventually, it's a process then, di ba? Then oh. eventually, it will be removed na from your uh, energy body and hopefully, hindi mo na siya ibabalik para you don't attract it anymore. Oo. Mm-hmm. This is really Yan. so interesting. <laughs> galing. So, you the pranic healing foundation of the Philippines, is it the only one of that sort? The one in Ortigas? Uh, well, there's also the Institute for Inner Studies in Makati. But they cater more for the business side of uh, the, the, the of pranic healing, meaning because it's, it's classes, right? So they, uh-huh. they cater to the, the books, the, uh-huh. those information. But the pranic healing foundation of the Philippines, they have regular classes. Uh, I think now they would offer online classes. Because eh. during the pandemic, they stopped. Uh-huh. They stopped because they, 
hindi, hindi na hindi hindi pa nagpe-pivot. So I think now they would offer online classes. I think they're offering already. Nice. They're offering online classes already. Tapos before we we go there reg- I think regularly now they do home sessions. Uh-huh. Um home sessions and tawag it's just an abbreviation. First okay. nung nung hindi pandemic, home there's healing. Okay. Wherein it's open to the public if you want to experience healing, regardless if you're feeling ailments or anything, if you just feel stress, you can have healing. Okay. Then we do orientation. Okay. Orientation explaining what, or sorry, oneness. Uh, mm-hmm. wherein we do orientation what pranic healing is, so you have an idea what. Then we do meditation. Mm-hmm. Meditation and twin hearts. So mm-hmm. that's one of the the very powerful meditations that I've been doing for the past what. Three years mm-hmm. meditation on twin hearts then enlightenment talk so one of the pranic healers parang ako kayo, i shared with you pero not naman this long Mm-mm. around 15 minutes 20 minutes how pranic healing helped them so ganun siya, it's home sessions oh, yeah. uh yeah we do i think there is now every day nice nice mm-hmm. it really really sounds interesting and fascinating and i can really see na the effect on of you on you rather of pranic <laughs> healing is really 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 so good parang honestly but i saw your facebook profile because your public profile is about well bni your your organization about uh real estate and i'm like oh my god he's a real adult <laughs> and, <laughs> I feel like he, and then i saw that you have this award i, I you or the, the BNI has this award. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my God, he's really a real adult. I mean, and... Grabe, I feel old to like... I heard to reach, alam mo yun. But then, you talking about panic healing and, and, and like I mean, and how to be a better person. It's not something that you would um, usually, what do you call this, expect from a corporate person, a business person. And... I really like that your your holistic approach on life. It's not just all about the money, but it's also about improving yourself. And I can really see that you're really a great person inside and out. And it's a real privilege to have you, you here so on the episode. All the credit you. goes to my parents. I think my parents really raised me well. Plus my wife and pranic healing. Yeah. Mm-mm. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to be. So it's a continuous journey. I mean... Hopefully, I was able to impart naman some positive energy to you and also your so your listeners. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be able to to share with you with, with my experience. So sana hindi ko I didn't bore you guys or uh, didn't take up too much of your time. Oh, far from it. It's it's really an interesting and enlightening episode. Thank you. <laughs> so Luigi, where can we find you? Like if we want to find our next dream unit or if you where can we learn more about pranic healing? Ah uh, yeah you can you can message me. Uh you can I can also I can give you my number if you guys oh, want. Oh, or you yes, can connect please. with me. Yeah. My num my number is in, is public anyway. Oh, <laughs> I right, always right. post it on Facebook and Instagram because because of what I do. Uh, yeah, so I'm also in on Facebook. Uh, you guys can you can add me Luigi Maliari. Uh, I'm also on Instagram. Ask Luigi M. Uh, there. My, do I give my cell phone number? <laughs> oh, it's it's up to you. But guys, it, all of the links. Uh, to his social media channels and possibly his number. We'll see. I'll <laughs> link it in the description box of this episode. Sir, so, thank you so much. Any last words to our viewers and listeners? Uh, keep safe, everyone. Th- again, thank you very much for the opportunity and uh, God bless everyone. Aww, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, thank you. More power <laughs> for you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Guys, if you're still here and you are still listening to this episode, thank you so much. I hope that you were able to have fun. I hope you were able to discover your own energy with me a while ago. It was such a great experience. (laughs) I really hope that this episode will be just a time for you to be positive and happy and grow see something, well, something good to look forward to next time. And, well, this is Mabuhay Maxima. And if you have any questions, comments, or anything that you want to say, just leave a message on the on the comment section or 
at Facebook and Instagram at uh, at my boy Maxima. And also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I would appreciate that so much. And this is MR Maxima with me, Mr. Luigi Magliari. And this is Mabuhay Maxima. And we will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye now! Thank you.